Hello everyone, welcome to another preview co- coverage of the Indian Super League. Today, Ferrando's FC Goa will lock horns with Avan Calls Jamshedpur FC at Tilak Maidan Stadium in Vasco. Jamshedpur FC have obtained 10 points from 7 matches so far, whereas FC Goa has 8 points from 7 matches so far. Both the teams have somewhat similar squad and it will be a tactical game which will be played out between the two sides in Vasco. In this video, let's analyze analyze the strengths weaknesses of both the teams and also predict what their lineup can be at the end i will definitely share fisto's fantasy 11 team with all of you i am bhagishri and stay tuned we start with the Jamshedpur FC side. They started their campaign on a very low note. Uh, they were continuously losing but quickly were able to find their momentum and in the last 3-4 matches, they have broken the winning streak of Mumbai City FC, broken the unbeaten run of both ATK Mohan Bagan and Northeast United FC. They are having high morale after winning three these matches and would like to continue the same against FC Goa as well. Moving Moving on to the team news, Avan Coyle will be delighted for the return of his star player Monroy from his suspension. But even without him in the side, they were able to beat Northeast United FC in their last match and they must be very pleased with it. Aniket Jadav was on the score sheet and that would have put some confidence in the youngster. TP Rehnesh had a wonderful outing against Northeast United FC, which included a penalty save. Moving on to the predicted formation and the predicted lineup, the formation would be like 4-2-3-1 with TP Rehnesh as the goalkeeper, uh, Din Liana, Easy, Hartley and Ricky as the defenders, Aitor Monroy and Alex as the central defence midfielders, Isaac Mubashi and Jackie in front of them with Walskis as the attacker. Next, we talk about FC Goa. Many say FC Goa are struggling to cope up with the change in personnel in their team but uh, from last year, but to be very honest, uh, they are an amazing side and play some amazing brand of football, but are truly unlucky to not be in the winning winning ways in their last couple of matches. They must be really disappointed for conceding a direct goal from corner from Rafael and were and you know it was defensively very very weak against the two-time champions. They would want to tighten their defense before they take the field against Jamshedpur FC. To Tonight. Moving on to the team news, uh, Ferrando played a 4-4-2 against Chennai and FC. He's rotating his foreign players very well. He would be forced to bring back Garrido into the side as his team struggled, def- struggled the defensive bit with, uh, with Iban at the back line. Garrido, Donaki, Edubedia, Ortiz and Angulo would be the five foreign players he would want to play. Moving on to the predicted formation and the predicted lineups, the formation would be like 4 2 3 1 with Mohammad Nawaz as the goalkeeper, Seriton Donaki, Garido, and Gama as the defenders, Edu Vidya and Lani as the central defense midfielders, Romario, Jesu Raj, uh, Brandon, and Ortiz as the midfielders and Angulo as the striker. Next, we talk about what can be expected in the match tonight. Jamshedpur FC is having an unbeaten run in their last six matches and would do anything to maintain their winning streak. And from and their form this season against top team has been amazing. FC Goa, on the other hand, has played some good brand of football but would want to convert their chances and get a win out of tonight's contest. Nevertheless, the match would be high of high intensity. The clash between the both matches would be worth watching. What do you think? the team that would come out on top right in the comments below we finally bring to you fisto's fantasy 11 so we have kept uh, tp rehnesh as the goalkeeper in between the sticks uh, kevin uh, gama and rentley as the defenders easy in front of three defenders uh, and the midfielders we have ortiz jesuraj monroy and singh with Angulo and Walskis as the two strikers. The captain of the side would be Ortiz and the vice captain would be Walskis. So that was Fisto's Fantasy 11 team for you. We've also written a detailed article about our fantasy team selection and the link to the same you can find in the description below. Thank you for watching Fisto Sports. Stay tuned.